Welcome back to Jula class and this is a discussion for our reproduction in plants and animals booklet and now we are focusing on this question here. So here it says that student Susan wanted to find out how the length of the wing-like structure of a fruit affects the distance it is dispersed. So now a very important part here you need to highlight is how the length of the wing-like structure of a fruit affects the distance it is dispersed. So if I want to put into an experiment uh, system, so the manipulated variable is the length of the wing-like structure. Of the wing-like structure of a fruit. Okay. Now, the responding variable is the distant dispersed. Huh, teacher, what are you seeing? Now, basically means that I want to see the length, how the length affect the distant dispersed, right? So manipulated variable MV here basically means the one that can be changed. Let me just write here, the one can be changed because we need to change in order for us to test. So this one is the one that gets changed. Okay, RV, responding variable, basically means the one that we need to see how, what's the result? Okay, when we need to see, observe. Okay, so... The things we need to observe and see here is the distance, right? Because we want to see how these changes in the length affect the distance. Okay? And there's something we call as actually one more thing is called the CV, which is a constant variable. Constant variable basically means the one that must be the same all the time. Must be the same. But did you why would you need to have something that you need to be the same? Because if I want to change something, I want to test the length, I must make sure the rest will be the same so that the test will be fair, will be nice, okay? That's why here they mention the word fair test, okay? It means that I need to have the test to be done nicely. So now let's look at here. She prepare four setups as described in the table below. So I have A, B, C, D. I have the length of the wing, wing mass of the seed, and presence of wind. Okay, now, since we are talking about the length of the wind structure, how, how the distance is first, so wind is something we must have, for sure, right? Because if without wind, then wind, uh, then why do we need to have this experiment? So we actually can cut down B already, for sure. Yeah. Now, the next part. Length of the wind, mass of the seed. Since we are testing the length of the wing, the mass of the seed is supposed to be the constant variable, right? It's supposed to be the same, right? Because or else we how can we how can we actually uh test right? Because one heavy one uh, not that heavy, it, it affects the test. And the, actually the same thing also for the presence of the wind is supposed to be the same because we are now only testing the length, presence of wind. That's why these two are put under the constant variable category, which is the same thing. Okay, so mass of the seed was supposed to be the same, so we need to cut down also D. I mean, with that, I think it's kind of obvious already. Okay, B and D is removed, so it's only left with A and C. But let me just quickly highlight A and C and we make a comparison here. So A and C, the length of the wing is MV which is manipulated variable, which is something that can be changed. Yes, right, because we need to be changed. We need to change it so that we can test. RV, we are checking the distance, okay. And the mass of the seed is the same. It also has the presence of wind, okay. And yeah, that is good. So for question four, the answer is set A and C. And in this case is option number three, okay. Just to help you understand better. So there are three things here again, MV. RV and CV. MV stands for manipulated variable. Something related. Something that we need to change. So it can be changed. And we need to change it. Or else how can we test? R means RV means responding variable. Something we want to see responding variable. To see the what's the result. Something we need to see. Okay. And CV means constant variable. It means it's something that is constantly the same must be the same okay and once you're able to bring in this concept then 
uh, when you understand this question, it will be easier. Because a lot of questions that you'll be seeing later on, you try to mix up with how to ensure fair test, how to conduct a fair test, something like this. Okay? So that's all for this question. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.